What's going on, guys? Check it out. Oh, uh, I've been seeing that they 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 digging into the Tupac uh, murder from way back 1996. Long twenty odd some years ago, yeah. not twenty seven years ago I think. Uh, yeah, they they looking into somebody house up in uh, uh Henderson, La Henderson, Nevada, in Las Vegas, pretty much. But uh, they don't want to find it. I don't. I don't get why people don't see this. They don't care. They don't care who killed Biggie. They don't care who killed Jam Master J. They don't care. Uh, it's just one less nuisance off the street how they can see it. Because, check it out. If they care, y'all, uh, Tupac was gunned down around the corner from the Las Vegas Strip after a Mike Tyson fight. How many people was out there, y'all? Come on, man. They found Osama Bin Laden. They did a little raid. It took 40 minutes. Saddam Hussein. Think six days. Way over in other countries. Underground. But this man do this right at Shug next to him. Right on all these people across the street, I'm sure. Nobody know. Come on, man. Look, if y'all don't understand how this story going of the world rappers are getting taken out weekly because they're a nuisance uh, when it was back in the good old days rappers used to battle each other on the mic face to face all in somebody's face you know what I'm saying All in their face. But nowadays, if you get in somebody's face, all bad. Y'all, I was actually watching a video a while ago. It's a rap, I think he I think he gunplay or something like that. They played a 50 cent song in a club in Miami. The man went straight off on the DJ. Straight off. Threw a garbage can up there at him. Said he'll shoot the club up. Jesus Christ. Yes, he said that. And he said he'll shoot everybody. <laughs> Don't touch me. Don't touch me. And it was, you know, they were trying to de-escalate him. He was talking about, why would you do that? Why would you play that? Play a song? Come on, man. I don't understand what's wrong with black people. Yeah, I said it. Black people. Because, I mean, do you see Keanu Reeves? Do you see, uh, what's that dude's name? Uh, let's say, let's, let's say Michael Keaton. Uh, do you see Johnny Depp? Do you see, uh, Madonna? Even though she is in it with, like, sticking her tongue down Drake throat type stuff. You know, but nobody got killed. Now Taylor Swift, the little white girl that gets up there, and everybody always want to break in her house for some odd reason. Everybody always want to get close to her for some odd reason. She up there accepting awards and what happened? 
damn black man jump on stage acting a fool. Kanye West, what they call her. Yeah. Trying to bring drama. What she do? Let him have his little glory. That was it. Now, if he would jump on stage, probably with Glorilla or somebody, oh man, it'd have been a cat fight. These hands would have got to going. Necks would have been thrown. We probably would have come out. Lashes probably been hanging everywhere. Look, it. Th th that's why they don't even want you at places like the Oscars. That was nothing but some penguins in there with their little suits on being all. Then here, you, here they go letting the black folks come in. And you go up there accept your award. Come get it. So and so, so and so McMuffin. <laughs> here comes so and so, so and so McMuffin. We're about 30 guys. Jesus. <laughs> 30 guys on stage. Come on, man. They just standing there looking crazy. Like they hard. And then, why do MC McMuffin gotta get up there with a double cup? Really, nigga? I remember at one of these award shows, I can't remember which one of these rappers was a female, I too think, believe. The lady was in the crowd eating ramen noodles. They showed her. Google it. I don't know who it was. What? Let me, let me see. Try to Google it for you right quick. I don't think it's gonna work this easy because I ain't got time for all that. Which rapper was at a war show eating ramen noodles? According to Hollywood Life, yes, it was an official cup of noodles, and yes, Ray J kept it in one of the cup holders oh, in his seat. It was Ray J. Ray J, y'all. I thought it was a female. <laughs> classy. Very classy. Oh. I should have seen where it was at. But y'all, they really don't care. They don't care about, about blacks killing blacks. I mean, like I said, they don't care because one less you got to worry about. The Ku Klux Klan man say, they ain't got to do nothing to you no more. Just go to the neighborhood, throw out some forties and some blunts and some guns, and you're going to do the job yourself. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. You would do the job yourself. Same way when I tell people, they were talking about the, uh, how, how they put it, the devil or something. Uh, I forgot what how they put it, but you make it figure out what I'm gonna say. Uh, they say something about the devil. No, I ain't gonna even say it because I can't get it right. Man, the devil in the room. Huh? Why can't I remember this? Hmm. All right, I got it. I think I do. <laughs> no, that ain't right. But it's, it was something about people saying some good stuff about the devil, and and I say the uh, the devil don't need no help getting you down there. He don't need no help at all. The only person who need help is God, because God have to have his people coming down and preach to you and try to help you do the right thing to get you to come to heaven but the devil all he gotta do is sit back that's all he gotta do cause you, you, you heading that way anyway you was born to go that way oh my god wow so he don't need no help for nothing y'all the devil can just sit and play pool and it, it looks like uh oh Got nothing coming. But people, y'all always talking too about gun violence. It's not gun violence, it's human violence. And do you ever see 
there is, I'm not saying there's a zero percent chance, but there is a chance of white people shooting each other. It's, it happens everywhere. White people shooting a lot of people. Chinese people, Asian people, uh, Mexican people, Indian people, the people people. They're always doing it, but majority of the time you look at the book, paper, whatever, news, it's a black man killing another black man. Listen at the rap music. This is what they say. It, the song can be about a Motorola phone. I just bought me a Motorola phone. That nigga better make it home because I'm going to kill him. Something like that. You know what I'm saying? That is how it works. It doesn't matter what they rapping about. It's going to always come up to kill another nigga. Really, nigga? How they put that? That's the word they use, y'all. It's the word they use. Now, not being racist or nothing, but when a lot of black people have this uh, hatred towards white people because of what happened hundreds of years ago, every white person ain't the same, every black person ain't the same. If it was all like that, you should be trying to kill the white man. But don't kill nobody because it's, it's, it's stupidity. The whole thing is stupidity, but why try to kill another black man? For nothing. These these fools nowadays, they even they even uh killing each other over rap music. Over rap music. This dude said call himself the king or something. He don't like him being called a king or whatever. So he wants to get rid of him. It's ignorance, y'all. And you know what? When it happened, they don't care. They ain't trying. If they stoop up and find who killed Paul, they be like, did you think, man? Man, I'm bad behaved. I went too hard in the case. 